Hello everyone, my name is Micah. Today we're going to be making a wonderful cocktail called the Kickin' Country. We're going to be using some Brugal Anejo rum, which is more of a drier, dark rum. We're going to be also using some Jim Beam Red Stag Bourbon. It's the regular Jim Beam, but it's been infused with some black cherry flavors. It's really, really nice and rich uh, and makes it for really good cocktails in such as this. We're also going to be highlighting that cherry notes. We're going to use some Bulls brand, or a Cherry Brandy Liqueur to give it that nice essence. And we'll add in some fresh lemon citrus juice, cranberry juice, and finishing off with a little bit of ginger ale. So let's get started and make this drink. So we'll start by putting all our ingredients into a mixing glass and we'll give it a quick shake to help activate all our ingredients, chill them down and make sure it's really well mixed together. So we're going to be adding a little bit of ice and then adding in all of our liqueurs. We'll start by using one ounce of our Brugal Anejo rum. So adding one ounce of our Brugal Anejo rum into this, as well as equal parts of our Jim Beam Red Stag. And then I'll add in just a half ounce of our Bulls Cherry Brandy. So just a half ounce. Putting that into there. And then let's squeeze in a couple of wedges of lemon to give a nice fresh citrus. This will give us approximately about a quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. We'll cap this and we'll shake this all up. Now it's all been chilled together. We'll break our seal. We want to grab our glass we're going to put in for this one. I figured a really nice redneck wine glass will work. Add some ice and we'll strain all our shaken ingredients into our glass. Now we're going to add in a splash of cranberry juice to give it some nice red color. And to finish it off with a little ginger ale, which will give some nice carbonation and a little bit of that sweet ginger. Then you can finish it off garnishing with a lemon wedge and there you have our country kicker cocktail. You can also make this one to go, put it in your mason jar and now it's to go. Cheers!